Avodah, the Labor Party, was formed in 1968 following a successful three-year alliance of the old ruling Mapai Party, Achduta Avodah, and Rafi. Through combining all three parties into one, Labor continued the rule of Mapai, which had led every coalition since the state's foundation until 1977, when Labor was thrown out as a result of the Yom Kippur War. Labor returned to power after 15 years in the opposition or in national unity government in 1992 under the leadership of Yitzhak Rabin and campaigned promises not to negotiate with the PLO. Labor gained enough strength to form a coalition of the left and religious parties. After assuming power, the Rabin government almost immediately began the Oslo process. In 1995, Rabin was assassinated by Yigal Amir in Tel Aviv, Shimon Peres became prime minister and called elections only six months after the assassination. Despite overwhelming media and American support, Peres narrowly lost the prime ministerial election to the Likud chairman Benjamin Netanyahu. In 1999, the Netanyahu government fell, bringing about early elections. Former chief of staff Ehud Barak won the internal labor primaries to become the party chairman and the challenger to the Likud government. The Labor Party won the election, but was forced to lead with the weakest first party in Israeli history with only 26 out of the Knesset's 120 seats in labor hands. Barak formed a seemingly strong coalition with 75 seats, but his government was plagued with infighting in parties such as the religious Shas, that and the collapse of the Oslo Accords brought down Ehud Barak's government and seemingly the former chief of staff's career. Fuad Ben Eliezer briefly replaced Barak as party chief only to be replaced in turn by Amram Mitzna, who led Labour to a disastrous defeat in the 2003 elections. As a result, Mitzna also resigned to be replaced by Shimon Peres. Peres led Labour into the government of then Prime Minister Ariel Sharon to shore up political support for Sharon's disengagement plan. Following the disengagement, Peres was defeated in an internal Labour elections, leading to chairmanship of Amir Peretz, who had formerly led the Histadrut Labor Federation. Peretz stated he wanted to return labor to its traditional socialist economic policies and as such could not sit in the Likud government. Following 2006 elections, labor fell to 19 seats, their worst showing ever. Ehud Barak returned to politics following widespread disappointment with Amir Peretz's role as defense minister. During the Second Lebanon War, Barak managed to defeat Peretz and Ami Ayalon for the party leadership. Avodah was for many years a socialist party and remains a part of the Socialist International, though their economic policies have been greatly moderated in recent years to a social democratic model and is in fact relatively close to their projected winner of the elections, the Likud. Avodah is a Zionist party which believes Israel should be a Jewish state. Different factions of the party lean differently in regards to the level of Judaism which the state should observe though current party leader El Barak seems to lean towards maintaining the status quo.